Dr. Samir Bashi. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I practice in Beverly Hills and in New York City. And my practice is limited to medical, surgical, and cosmetic dermatology. This is a relatively new technology in the sense that this is the first time we've been seeing it recently. But the Plasma Arc technology is itself not new. It's been done in the past. How it works is we're converting electricity into electrostatic energy. So we're taking electrical energy and we're using it approximately a millimeter away from the skin. So when you see me actually performing the procedure, you'll see that the pen doesn't touch the skin. There's about a millimeter away. In that small distance, nitrogen and oxygen meet to create a plasma arc. So if you've ever seen the movie Iron Man, it's the same thing, or if you ever played the, the video game Mega Man as a kid, it's the same thing. That plasma is the combination of electrostatic energy and nitrogen and oxygen mixing to create a heat reaction in the skin. And that's what builds the collagen. It's a tricky question because all cosmetic procedures are gonna be dependent on how well you take care of yourself. So just like carbon dioxide laser resurfacing, in theory, the results are gonna last several years, a minimum of three years. But if you age poorly or smoke or out in the sun a lot, that's gonna be limited to a lot, lot less time. I would say the major benefit is tightening without cutting. That is the biggest benefit. So if we're talking about the upper eyelid, we can tighten that loose skin without cutting, without creating any scar, without putting in any stitches. We can even tighten the lower eyelid. Same thing, no cutting, no scar, no stitches. It's convenient, it's easy, you're awake during the procedure, there's no need for anesthesia of any sort, and it's completely customizable. Your doctor can't overdo it and can't underdo it. If you simply want more, come back for a second session. If you want more, come back for a third session. But you're not relying on overcutting, overpulling, over stitching to get your result. So it's very natural, it's very easy, and super convenient. And that's the direction we're seeing the cosmetic industry take in the next several years. There's a little bit of downtime. So remember, this is a resurfacing procedure. It is ablative, which means we are in some way damaging the epidermis. So there is gonna be time that it's, the skin's gonna need to recover. I usually tell my patients approximately five days or so, they're gonna have these small little scar, like little scar marks around the area. That's not scar, it's iscar. So it's a little brown dot wherever we put the plasma pen and that's gonna go over, you know, it's gonna go away in the next couple of days, but usually five days, the most I've seen is seven. Super easy, they just have to do two things. One, avoid the sun, especially darker skin patients, and two, just slather on Aquaphor over the area, several times a day. We don't want the area to be dry, we want it to be nice and moist, that's gonna facilitate the healing a lot, make it a lot faster, make it heal faster. Maybe instead of five days, if they're very good with their aftercare, we can get away with four days of recovery. It depends on where you go um, and what part of the face you do and how many treatments you're gonna do. I tell my patients that we're gonna start off with one treatment, but they may need as many as two or three. Depends on how loose the skin is, what we're trying to do, if we're trying to fix scar, or you know what our goal is, what our objective is. But usually it's several hundred dollars per area per session. So if you think about it, it's still a lot more reasonable than surgery. So if we take the upper eyelid, for example, that's a really common area, we charge about $750 per upper eyelid here in this office. It's still a lot more cheaper than having a full face facelift or doing a blepharoplasty, and it's more convenient for patients. They're in, they're out, it's quick, it's easy, there are no stitches. There's all different kinds of candidates for this procedure. Obviously, it's not designed to replicate or remove surgery. So if someone really needs a facelift or a neck lift or an eye lift, they're going to need those surgeries. But for people that want to push the surgery off or they're looking for a quicker option with a non-surgical result, they're great candidates. 
the patient that we're going to do today, she's in her 30s. And you'd imagine, well, why would a 30-year-old need resurfacing? It's because fillers and other things only go so far. So for her, for example, I filled her smile lines, but she still has these very small lines that she sort of wants to get taken care of. So in this case, we're going to use the plasma arc resurfacing to take care of that. Then I have older patients that have looser upper eyelids. They don't want to do surgery. They want something easy. They want something fast with less downtime. So there's a lot of patients, men and women, that are going to be interested in this procedure. Thank you.